In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the unboxing and a complete setup of your Pentum M6559NW printer. Let's do the unboxing. Lift the printer. So this printer comes in the plastic packaging. Take the printer out of this plastic. It also comes with the manual and the DVD drive. So you can just download the drivers with it. You also get a power supply and USB data cable. So that is to directly connect with your computer or your laptop. And you can do the printing and scanning with that. Remove the protective tape. Lift it, also lift this section and attach it on the top. Inside we have to work on the ink cartridge, remove this orange protective support, take your ink toner out. Remove this seal. Pull this ribbon out, this will activate the ink cartridge, install it back, close it, press it down and close this section, plug in the power cable, so that goes at the back of the printer. Switch on the printer, press the power button. Wait for the printer to start. Print is ready and we can start using it for copy. For printing and scanning we have to do the Wi-Fi setup or USB cable setup. So I'm just going to show you how to do the wireless setup of the printer. The first step is to load the paper. So pull the paper tray out, load a for size or letter size paper. Click yes, reset paper, select the correct size, that's a letter size here, plain paper. Now to start the Wi-Fi setup, click on the Wi-Fi button. So it will print mobile device Wi-Fi connection guideline page and we have to use this page for the Wi-Fi setup. Next step is to go to your smartphone. I'm just going to use with my iPhone. If you want you can also use the Android phone. Download the Pentum app. You can download it from the app store. Open this app. If you already have a printer on the screen then we have to click on the replace the printer. Or if it's the first time just click on the add new printer 
agree with the terms next step is to scan the QR code that comes with this printed page so click on the scan and just scan it automatically it will display your wireless network of your home or office you just have to enter the password make sure your smartphone is already connected to the Wi-Fi network now enter the password of your Wi-Fi click on the done and click next it will ask you to join the Wi-Fi click join click join Print is installed click done you will see printer on the main screen on the top and we are ready to use this printer for printing and scanning let's print a document so it will display the print speed So print is done. Let's do the scanning. We can use the ADF tray to scan the multiple pages. So I'm just going to use it first time. So just remove the seal. Now place the pages you want to scan. Place it facing up. Go to the app section. In the main screen, click on the printer scan icon. Select document source as a ADF and then click on the scan now. scan is done and it is transferred so you can see both pages are available you can also use the scanner bed for that you can select document source as platen and then you can just scan document by placing on the scanner bed let's do the copy for example I'm just going to copy a page so place it facing down here go to the printer control panel click on the start and to start the copy process. Now we can also do the copy using the ADF tray. For that you have to place the pages facing up. On the main screen, click on the start button. That is the complete setup of the printer and then we did the wireless printing and scanning we also did the copy so you can use this printer for multiple functions there is another good thing is regarding the printing of ID card now if you have a lot of ID cards for printing then you can just click on the ID card copy and you can start doing it so already it has a button on the main screen this printer can print up to 22 a4 size pages per minute or 23 pages letter size per minute. ADF tray can hold up to 35 pages. So you can scan 35 pages or you can copy 35 pages by placing in the ADF tray at once. So this printer is 
compatible with your Windows laptop, MacBook and smartphone. If you want to know more about this printer, how to use with different devices, you can just watch my videos on that. So that's all about this printer. Thanks for watching.